Hi everyone, I accidentally erased the footage um, just the beginning couple of minutes when I was creating the hair and the face so um, that's just to let you know that what you will see next is um, the hair that I used here is the Payne's grey watercolour and um, then I just freehanded, I didn't use any marks here at all, as you can see uh, there are no marks, the doodling happened after I laid down the hair, the face, uh, the neck and the body part and um, yeah, so it's just um, started off with the face and the neck and the body just with a very light uh, kind of peachy mix of watercolor, mostly watered down. Um, and then as the watercolor on the face was still wet, I did a wet and wet technique and just dumped a little bit of red on the cheeks and also the mouth area as well, because you can see there is some bleeding over here. So eventually, I put the red lip on top once it has fully dried but that sort of bleed is how I created that and uh, as I said for the hair I've done it uh, separately when the um, face has dried I had also added the kind of just freehanded the shape of the hair so that's well what you will see next so that's what you will see next and we'll take it from there Okay, at this point I am going to go in a bit more precise and put a nice bright lip there, like so. Today's style is a bit different from those that you've seen before. Um, it's sort of breaking the lines and letting... Um, a bit more kind of um, loose and controlled watercolor shapes come together really and the other thing I want to do is start on the actually I want to just glaze a little bit over here just to darken up this side So this is called glazing in watercolour, when you apply watercolour on top of already dried first wash, or it could be a second, even a third, so you can go as many as you want. I'm also going to give her um, one of those necklaces, the chalkers, that I like to use in all of my illustrations. So thicken this one up like that and then at this point I will uh, illustrate her dress perhaps while the face and the hair is drying naturally for now I'm going to grab my where is this my waterproof ink which is this one and the paper is still feeling a little bit um, kind of damp, so it might make my ink line quite blurred, but we'll see. So I'm just going to illustrate or doodle different shapes because that was the thing about Frida's fashion sense of fashion that she had was a lot of uh, patterns and florals kind of very very beautiful complicated shapes so from here I would probably doodle something like that like I said I'm trying to leave the lines not too perfect and sometimes I could go back and add a bit more make it a little bit more scribbled 
and then I could do the same thing here just over it like that. In essence you could do whatever you wanted here and I think I'm just going to add a few more lines and doodles. And now I want to move on to her eyebrows, perhaps her eyes first. So let's do the nose first of all. And then huge big eyes. I like my girl illustrations to have big massive eyes. And then let's do the monobrow now because that's obviously her signature look. And I'm just going to put a line in between and just make a little dip and connect the two like this. So the other thing is her earrings. Her earrings are always quite a big statement. So here are the earrings, here is the dress. Now I will add some color to the dress in a mere moment, but I want to concentrate more on the eyes. Okay, so she's nice and dried and um, the thing that I've done off camera is time the date and it's this lovely uh, color that I have discovered and it's the archival ink in shadow gray. I mean, it has become my staple stamping, like a date stamping color or it's great for anything stamping really, but I just love it because the, the color is a little bit muted and it's um well sometimes i love uh stamping in black but the other occasions it looks really really good with the color scheme that i have going on here and and it's the same case here it's a lot of gray and quite muted colors so i'll put the link down below if you're interested but yeah i'm, I'm really happy with this new color um okay so the only wet area that i have here is right on the sleeve but i'm not dabbing it off because i quite like it to be that dark here goes really well with some of the areas in the hat if now, you go with red watercolor over this it's not gonna look very good however if you take a polychroma so this is a scarlet red and it's going to be perfect so this is a oil based yeah i've been told off before i think i called them wax based before and they're oil based so there you go so it's, they're going to sit quite nicely and you're going to see them so i'm just going to doodle a few flowers like so and just really uh like doodling quite light-handed you know I'm not really precisely doing any specific flower shapes there 
I just doodled it in one color and then I'm going to go for the darker one which is the pink carmine and I'm just going to add pink carmine in some areas and then I want a darker color which is a middle cadmium red that will be red a lovely deep red like so so now she has these lovely colors now I'm thinking I want to add I'm going to go with actually the paints gray the same as the watercolor and just add a few leaves like that just to break it up a little bit and add some something else there. I don't want to go with green because that would clash a lot in this case uh, but adding something like this here and there I think looks quite nice and yeah so that's what I will do like that and just going to deepen it up a bit more and then let's see I've got this orange the orange is lovely as well so I'm just going to add some orange here and there and I've got this one which is the sorry the orange was just in case you're interested the dark cadmium orange and this one is the dark chrome yellow now that's a great one it looks fantastic on dark colors uh, because it just stands out lovely so I'm just going to add a few here and there okay so before it gets too much I feel like I want something darker still uh, what's this one I've got a Pompeian red uh, yes that's a nice color just some darkness over here like that <clears throat> so at this point I'm just scribbling around not really paying too much attention of what's happening and then I will take a white pencil and just doodle around some of these it looks great on darker watercolors as well just because it stands out a bit more so as you can see suddenly we can see a bit more uh, of the like a bit of an outline on the darker watercolor which works beautifully you can't really see it on this side but here it's quite nice like that okay so and that's the crown and the other thing I'm going to do is take the paints grey and just go in some of these areas on top of the watercolour just like that just to add some of those scribbly lines here and there going back to the scarlet red gorgeous colour and just intensifying it into the middle of the lip and then with a darker red just around here like that so that's giving us a bit more of a pout pout and then I can take the same pencil just for some extra texture and just add it like a few scribbles here and there which you really don't have to do but I think it works nicely because then you have that kind of uh, a repetition of lines and I'll do that here as well kind of looks a bit more sketchy as well just adding that so there you go um, I think I'm going to take my fountain pen and try to outline some of these here or just kind of create scribbly lines more like 
like that around. Don't go over the pencil because that will clog up your fountain pen. But I just want, I think that looks a lot better. Just outlining with a scribbly scribbly line like so very lightly that just makes it look a bit more um, sort of stands it out a little bit more like that and fountain pen always that's interesting marks if I feel that there is not enough detail in the pencil then that's a good way of adding detail because the line is still quite thick uh, thin and I personally think that that looks quite a bit better um, so that's my Frida and that's uh, that's how I like to combine um, watercolors and pencils together the the crown is a bit of a tricky one because I'm still looking at it and I'm still thinking there is something that's lacking there and personally I would add a blob of watercolor just on this side just to break up the entire uh, shape so let me do it this brings us back to the point that I made in the beginning of the video that sometimes you might not be happy with what you have created and you might feel like you want to correct something so this is it this is <laughs> where I am at right now so I'm going to go into this darker red color which is this one here deep scarlet and I'm going to take it in quite concentrated and just blob it in yeah, so this is much better to me now. Now, the, the watercolor is not going to sit very well because these are oil-based, so they're going to repel the color a little bit. But you'll be able to get the color in certain areas, which actually makes it a nice bit of a surprising kind of combo in terms of the effect as well, something you might not have thought of doing but here and there you'll still have the pencil peek out and I'm going to go into that Indian yellow and just add that in some areas as well and that is literally all that I'm doing so you can still see the pencil marks but now I'm a lot happier with it because it's a little bit more I don't know deeper I think so. So, but I'm really happy with how these uh, pencil marks with the white and the paints gray look uh, on the on the leaves here. Let me try and bring it a bit closer up to you so you can see uh, that in some areas the watercolor has gone through and in some it's sitting on top, but it will kind of, uh, if I just dry it quickly, I'll show you what it looks like. So here you can see it has dried now. I had to get rid of some of those puddles. So you can see the uh, pencil right underneath. I hope you can. And But it's sort of now more connected with the watercolor. It's more sort of blended rather than just kind of looking um, separate on top of it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my Frida. She has been a little bit more free today. <laughs> and thanks for watching and see you soon. Have a